Hey everyone, so this is not part of the normal daily overpass. I wanted to do this really quick video to talk a bit about GDPR because uh, after yesterday's daily video, that was a question I got asked a lot. It was, what do you, are you ready for GDPR? Do you have the consent SDK installed and everything like that? Right? And for the next few videos, where I don't talk about GDPR at all, but it's kind of the big thing at the moment. It's the thing that it's occupying. It occupied all day yesterday for me. It's gonna do all day today and tomorrow getting everything ready for, for GDPR. So right now it's about six o'clock in the morning. It's the 23rd of May, it's my brother's birthday. I end up, I, and I'm in the office just getting everything ready. Yesterday I spent the entire day installing the new consent SDK to, to uh, some of our Android apps because it was just released about two days ago by Google. So a lot of people are going through and trying to put that thing through. Uh, so that's, that's one of the things, trying to get those ready and basically, when we did the last live stream last Friday, uh, some people were saying, hey, what's G G GDPR? And it is the general data protection regulations by the, which, by the EU, which go into effect on the 25th, which is two days from now. And a lot of things that, you know, a lot of things about apps and GDPR, we didn't really know much about just, you know, months ago. I mean, th there's a few people who are out there saying, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that. But a lot of it was, you know, scare tactics and some people were saying hey this is just like y2k it's not going to be that bad and even then we don't know what it's going to be like it could be this thing that comes and goes and nobody pays attention to it you know or anything like that or you know there could be some fines that go out or maybe it'll be just a lot of hype and you know and part of me was like maybe i'll just ignore this maybe i'll just you know pretend like you know to see what happens and hope that i don't get fined you know, whatever. So, but, you know, we're, we are trying to go through and make it. So last week we was getting the uh, the website ready and do the new uh, privacy policy and updating the terms and conditions and all that kind of stuff, getting all that stuff ready for GDPR, make sure everything's, everything's listed there. You know, and yesterday working on the Android app and also checking out Corona saying, well, we might have to do something about the free uh, AdMob uh, apps that, you know, we don't have those SDKs ready yet. And of course, when I was looking at the uh, Corona uh, website, they had a blog post on the 15th, uh, which is just, uh, whatever, last week, saying that every Corona build prior to that date is non-GDPR compliant. So you have to recompile and re-upload those with the latest daily build, which for me, we're talking a lot of apps. We're talking like hundreds of apps. So, and also, uh, over the next few videos, you'll, you'll learn that, you know, Apple, has started rejecting my apps again. So they're just 4.3 on everything, regardless of whether or not it, it makes any sense. I'm saying this isn't anything like any of the other ones. That, oh, what? So it's a whole song and dance, appeal, 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 which really we don't have time for. So today, and this pains me to do it, we are going through and removing almost all of our apps with the exception of like three of them from the, app, the Apple App Store. And we're talking, uh, yeah, we're talking maybe 50, 60 apps, you know, so it's like, and this, and we're, so we're talking like, in terms of revenue, it's gonna cost me about $800 a month, which is just, it pains me. But if I can't get anything through, if none of those are GDPR compliant and they're not approving anything because I have 50 or 60 apps, then that's, you know, then it's a rock and a hard place. So GDPR combined with the Apple's 4.3 is, is a big problem. So that's on that side and it pains me to do it. And, you know, this is, it's funny because you have this kind of expense. Sorry, sorry if it's a bit shaky, I'm here on my phone. You got this unexpected expense that comes up. I was, you know, we're moving into a bigger office here next week. So I got to take on some more client work. Uh, and you know, and I've had a lot of people calling about different stuff. You know, we're talking about hiring some new developers, and they're you know been emailing me. Going, hey, hey, Eric, remember, remember what we were talking about last week? It's like, look, this week I don't want, don't talk to me about money. This week, this week is busy, which I guess is just part of running a small business. My problem is, is I'm not earning enough yet. Uh, so and then so that's on the Apple side. On the Google Play side, we're gonna go through and remove all the free versions, and then over the next couple of days, I'll be recompiling all the paid versions. So. Apple users are going to be able to use our apps and and Google Play users aren't so that's kind of some of the stuff that we're doing I don't know if we're doing enough but we're trying to do as much as we can before the 25th of of May and again part of me is like maybe if we just you know forget about it don't stress out about it, everything will be fine but then I think you know what it's kind of fun to join the hysteria for the next couple of days anyway so we're going to try to get so we actually we're not going to try to we are going to get everything GDPR compliant in the next two days doesn't help that we just got the tool from Google like two days ago, but 
you know, the situation is what it is. So what I'd like to know from you guys is what are you doing for GDPR? Is it, is it all just hype? Are you just going to wait and see how it goes uh, and hope that you don't get um, fined or anything like that? Um, because I don't think, given the fact that Google's just responding to it this week, I don't think they're going to be like banning any apps or anything. I don't think they want anything to do with it. I think it's more of a European directive. It might be a toothless one, but I'm not going to take that chance. We're going to do it. It also looks good for our clients that we, you know, we take these kind of things seriously. Uh, and so, so that's what we're doing. And Apple, if that's going to sting, removing those Apple apps from the App Store. Uh, but, you know, you know, I they're just becoming more and more difficult. They're like the people at the country club who insist on their rules even though they're no longer relevant, saying, I'm sorry, we're at full capacity, sir. We can no, no longer let anyone in. Oh, excuse me. Here you go, Mr. Rovio. Here's your table rating right here. Right? So it's, uh, you know, they're just Apple is being Apple. At least, you know, that's my opinion. So anyway, sorry for the crude nature of this video this morning. They'll be back later with the daily overpass later this afternoon, but I'm going to get to uh, compiling here. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Let me know what you're doing for GDPR. I'd be really interested in what you're knowing. And uh, happy birthday to my brother out there. And uh, that's it for today. Or not actually, I'll see you on the daily video later today. I'll talk to you guys later.